That's right, at least nine people were injured in this home explosion, and unfortunately, most of the people injured are children. I want to give you a sense of just how impactful this explosion uh, was. Uh, what you're seeing is a door, a front door, that was literally blown off of the hinges uh, from the explosion, and it's now hanging from a power line. The house uh, will show you that several windows uh, are also gone. They were blasted out when the explosion happened. Um, and nine people, as I said, were hurt. Six of them children. We know that two people uh, are in critical condition at Jacoby Medical Center, including one person who suffered broken bones. We know that four families have been affected, have been displaced by this. It happened on Paulding Avenue in the Castle Hill section of the Bronx. We spoke to uh, witnesses uh, and neighbors who were inside their homes uh, when this happened and they describe feeling the houses shake and rattle uh, by the impact. The fire chief says the fire marshal is investigating the cause. Take a listen. Approximately uh, about 3.20 uh, this afternoon, there was a uh, what apparently a gas explosion on the second floor of this building that you see behind us. Um, it blew out most of the windows and doors, as you can see. Uh, we've had right now nine patients, two critical that would take it to area hospitals. I was there inside the apartment when the explosion occurred. Uh, the kitchen cabinet came flying, flying over, over my head, took out the window, and that's all. Cut my hands. Again, we're told the fire marshal is investigating this as a gas leak explosion. Uh, Con Edison crews are also on scene. At least nine people, again, were hurt. Most of them children. We know that two people are in critical condition at Jacoby Medical Center here in the Bronx. That is the very latest from here in the Castle Hill section of the Bronx. Amy Yancey, New York One. Back to you. Very good. All right, John, thanks a lot. Uh, let's head to that developing story, everyone in the Bronx. The FDNY and Buildings Department are on the scene of a gas explosion. New York One's Bronx reporter Amy Yancey joins us now from the Castle Hill neighborhood with more. Amy. Hi, Dean, and let me just show you right off the top how impactful this gas leak explosion was. As you can see, there is a door hanging from electrical wires that, according to residents who were inside their home, uh, literally just blew off uh, by the impact of this explosion. Now, four families were affected and have been displaced. This happened on Paulding Avenue in the Castle Hill section of the Bronx. And I can tell you that, unfortunately, there were nine injuries. Six of the people injured are children, and two of them are in critical condition at Jacoby Medical Center here in the Bronx. Now, there are dozens of fire trucks and police units on scene. Uh, and as I told you, people were inside their homes when suddenly they say they heard uh, a lot of explosion, uh, people having to rush out of their homes in the middle of this uh, snowstorm that's happening right now. And they were able to talk to us as they try to figure out uh, what exactly caused this. Take a listen. I was there inside the apartment when the explosion occurred. Uh, the kitchen cabinet came flying, flying over, over my head, took out the window, and that's all. Cut my hands. According to Department of Building Records, there are there have been prior uh, gas issues at this home, and the fire chief did say the fire marshal is investigating this as a gas leak explosion, uh, but the cause is unknown. Again, nine people injured in the Castle Hill section of the Bronx, most of them deemed children. That's the very latest from here in the Bronx. Amy Yancey, back to you. Wow, Amy, thanks a lot. The winter... And we have a developing story now in the Bronx. The FDNY and Buildings Department are on the scene of a powerful gas explosion. Uh, several people were injured, including children. New York One Bronx reporter Amy Yancey joins us now from Castle Hill with the details. Amy. That's right, Dean, and Con Edison crews are also on scene as well. Uh, at least nine people were injured in this gas leak explosion. Most of these people that were injured, unfortunately, are children. And I want to show you, if you're, if you're looking uh, with surprise, that is a front door that you're looking at. It's hanging from some power lines, and that should give you a sense of how strong the impact was uh, of this explosion. The door was literally, literally blown 
off the hinges. Uh, it's hanging from a power line and also several windows were also blasted out uh, when this happened. Again, nine people were hurt. Six of them are children and two of them are in critical uh, condition at Jacoby Medical Center here in the Bronx. We're told that four families uh, have been affected by this. It happened uh, primarily at 1522 Paulding Avenue. That is the Castle Hill section of the Bronx. The fire chief uh, was on scene and told us that the fire marshal is investigating this as a gas leak explosion. Take a listen. Approximately uh, about 320 uh, this afternoon, there was a uh, what apparently a gas explosion on the second floor of this building that you see behind us. Um, they blew out most of the windows and doors, as you can see. Uh, we've had right now nine patients, two critical, that were taken to area hospitals. Now, uh, neighbors were inside the house when it happened. They told us they felt the house uh, rattle and shake. They had to run out to safety. Again, fire marshals investigating this as a gas leak explosion. And residents did tell us they did smell gas before the explosion. That is the very latest from here in the Castle Hill section of the Bronx. Amy Yancey, back to you. Amy, thank you. A horrible situation. A woman is in police custody after her newborn was found dead in. For more tomorrow, Cheryl, the weekend picture is brighter. We'll talk about that coming up. Yes, we'll get back to you very soon. But today's weather, as you know, John, made it really difficult for first responders on the scene of an emergency in the Bronx this afternoon. A gas explosion inside a residential building leaves nine people injured, some of them children. Tonight, Amy Yancey live in Morris Park with late breaking developments. Amy. Cheryl, six of the nine people injured in this blast are children. I can also tell you that one child suffered broken bones and a baby has a head injury. A firefighter who responded to the scene was also taken to the hospital to be checked out. They were all rushed to Jacoby Medical Center here in the Bronx. But I want to show you just how impactful this blast was. It was so strong that the front door of the house was blown off and it landed across the street on top of some power and phone lines. Some of the windows also gone. It happened at around 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Paulding Avenue in the Morris Park section of the Bronx. There were people inside the houses, including babies and children, as I said. Neighbors telling us they smelled a gas odor right before their houses started shaking. I was there inside the apartment when the explosion occurred. Uh, the kitchen cabinet came flying, flying over, over my head, took out the window, and that's all. Cut my hands. I smelled some gas. Uh, I went outside. One of my friends told me, oh, it smells like gas. So I opened all the doors, but apparently somebody came and closed them again. And the, probably the boiler turned on again, and there was gas in there, and it blew up. And we spoke to one neighbor who says his wife called him frantically after helping save two babies. He says their mother had to toss them out of the window in this snowy weather in order to get them to safety. She had the mother of the two children that she babysits um, throw the baby down out the window to try to get them assistance and help. Uh, at the time um, when, she, when that happened, the baby was already in and out of consciousness. All nine people that were in the house are expected to be okay, as well as that firefighter. The fire marshals are investigating this as a possible gas leak explosion. That's the latest from here in the Bronx. Amy Yancey, New York One, back to you. Amy, we're going to check back with you in our next half hour for any updates. Well, circling back to our story. To it all, they seem to be enjoying it. So, so we'll leave you with that. Okay, Shannon, thank you for that. Let's circle back to our other top story, that awful gas explosion, which injured nine people, including several children, who, some of whom remain hospitalized tonight. Amy Yancey has been at the scene since this afternoon. Amy, what's the latest there? 
Hi, Cheryl. I can tell you a baby and a toddler remain at Jacoby Medical Center tonight after suffering some injuries in this explosion. I can also tell you that a firefighter suffered minor injuries. Uh, they are expected to recover, though. Uh, right before you came to me, I saw a, a neighbor hand another neighbor a portable heater, and that's because the entire row of houses you see behind me uh, is without heat. Uh, presumably, the gas had to be turned off because of the explosion that happened here. Uh, we know that that there are multiple people displaced tonight in this uh, cold, snowy weather, and that the uh, Red Cross is helping at least two families with financial assistance and otherwise. Now, the impact of this blast was so strong that the house on Paulding Avenue no longer has a door or uh, most of its windows because they were blasted off uh, during the impact. We spoke to one man who was inside one of the adjacent homes when it happened. Half the room is collapsed, so the door is gone. There's no way to exit or entry except out of the windows that just uh, that that we hopped out of a few moments later. So I just grabbed my bag, I threw my phone, I threw whatever else was was right next to me, and then I hopped out. Came back in to see if my cat was okay, and uh, one of the guys that had come down, he's like, "Hey, what are you doing in here?" The fire guy finally broke through, and he's like, "Yo, you got to get out of here. There's gas." So I hopped out. Neighbors telling us they smelled gas, a gas odor before the explosion, about an hour before the FDNY, Fire Marshal, and Con Edison all investigating the exact cause. That's the latest from here uh, in the Bronx. Amy Yancey, back to you. Amy, you've been on the scene moments after that explosion, and you've done an excellent job. Thank you for being our eyes and ears nonstop Thank all you. day. All right, to other news on this Thursday night, we are following an alarming rise in and afternoon. Our next storm, it's just two and a half days away. We'll give you some more details on that, Dean and Lindsay, with another check of your weather on the ones coming up in a few minutes. All right, see you then. Thank you, Mike. Let's head back to the Bronx tonight, though, where we are learning that there was an illegal gas work inside of the building that exploded in Castle Hill, injuring several people. It was a scary scene. The front door of that house was blown off. New York One Bronx reporter Amy Yancey is back on that story today on that block. Amy, now what is the landlord saying about the explosion? Hi there, we spoke to the landlord shortly after he toured some of the apartments and frankly, he did not look pleased at all about their condition uh, and what he was told by Con Edison here on scene. We were also here when some tenants returned to gather some belongings and see what their apartments looked like for the first time since the explosion. Uh, a lot of them counting their blessings, but others having trouble coming to grips with what happened here. Neighbors on Paulding Avenue can't talk about the explosion without getting emotional. Norma Galarza was in her apartment when she felt Thursday's blast. She ran outside where she helped her neighbor and two young daughters escape. Catching the three-year-old and her baby sister after their terrified mother tossed them from a second floor window. What else is going to be That baby dangling from the window. That was the worst of all those kids, those girls. The mother trying to joke with her kids, it's hard. The little girls among the nine people who were rushed to Jacoby Medical Center. A hospital official saying everyone is expected to recover despite the extensive damage and collapsed walls the blast left in its path. The landlord, who did not want to give his name, was at the scene Friday, talking to Con Edison crews and his tenants in the adjacent apartments who were left without heat and hot water. The city's buildings department issuing several violations after determining that gas pipes, water lines, and laundry machines were all installed illegally. The landlord says he has no idea why the explosion happened. So the tenants yeah. were saying yesterday they smelled gas before the explosion. That's correct, yeah. yeah. Did you have any problems in any of these houses before? Never. Yeah. How do you any do your maintenance issues Nothing. or anything like that? Nothing at all. You guys are persistent, huh? Yeah. How do you oh, feel? Because, you know, there are children in the hospital. Horrible. I feel, how would you feel? Horrible. What kind of question is that? Yeah. You know? What would you say to the, what would you say to the family? I've already spoken to them. I don't need to tell everybody what I said. What I said you, what I had to say. What do you have to do now in terms of, like, making I got to meet Con Edison and make sure we get to the bottom of it. Thank you. 
Adriel Sambalin returned to his apartment to get some clothes and bring his cat to an animal rescuer until he can find permanent housing. It doesn't even look like an apartment. The whole ceiling is collapsed into my living room and the kitchen. Community activist Awilda Cordero says the families need all the help they can get. Hey, they need help. They need, you know, I think we should get them to get them relocated and get them some furniture and some help. That's what they really need. And while there is a lot of property damage and material loss, this neighbor is grateful. But considering only a few people were harmed, I mean, and how fast it happened, this is okay. You know, so many people could have died. In and the official cause of the explosion is still under investigation. I can tell you that every single neighbor that I spoke with mentioned those two little girls. They're thinking about those little girls, and we are told that their mother is at their bedside at the hospital. That's the latest from here in the Morris Park section of the Bronx. Amy Yancey, New York One, back to you. Wow, Amy, thanks a lot for that report. Now let's go from the Bronx to Staten Island. Neighbors on Paulding Avenue can't talk about the explosion without getting emotional. Norma Galarza was in her apartment when she felt Thursday's blast. She ran outside where she helped her neighbor and two young daughters escape. Catching the three-year-old and her baby sister after their terrified mother tossed them from a second floor window. What else is going to be That baby dangling from the window. That was the worst of all. Those kids, those girls. The mother trying to joke with her kids is hard. The little girls among the nine people who were rushed to Jacoby Medical Center. A hospital official saying everyone is expected to recover despite the extensive damage and collapsed walls the blast left in its path. The landlord, who did not want to give his name, was at the scene Friday, talking to Con Edison crews and his tenants in the adjacent apartments who were left without heat and hot water. The city's buildings department issuing several violations after determining that gas pipes, water lines, and laundry machines were all installed illegally. The landlord says he has no idea why the explosion happened. So the tenants no. were saying yesterday they smelled gas before the explosion. That's correct, yeah. yeah. Did you have any problems in any of these houses before? Never. Yeah. How do you do your maintenance issues Nothing. or anything like that? Nothing at all. You guys are persistent, huh? Yeah. How do you oh, feel? Yeah. Because, you know, there are children in the hospital. Horrible. I feel, how would you feel? Horrible. What kind of question is that? You know? What would you say to the, what would you say to the family? I've already spoken to them. I don't need to tell everybody what I said. I said what I had to say. What do you have to do now in terms of, like, making I got to meet Con Edison and make sure we get to the bottom of it. Thank you. Adriel Sambaland returned to his apartment to get some clothes and bring his cat to an animal rescuer until he can find permanent housing. It doesn't even look like an apartment. The whole ceiling is collapsed into my living room and the kitchen. Community activist Awilda Cordero says the families need all the help they can get. Hey, they need help. They need, you know, I think we should get them to get them relocated and get them some furniture and some help. That's what they really need. And while there is a lot of property damage and material loss, this neighbor is grateful. Considering only a few people were harmed, I mean, and how fast it happened, this is okay. You know, so many people could have died. And every neighbor that we spoke with telling us they are thinking about those two little girls that were tossed out of the window. We're told their mother is at their bedside at the hospital. In the Morris Park section of the Bronx, Amy Yancey, New York One.